Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Music Theory Tuition series where I work with you step by step through the ABRSM Discovering Music Theory grades. I'll work through every single exercise and explain everything you need to know. You can access information about the books I have available to help you on my website. Go to SharonBill.com. For advert free and longer lessons, you can become a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sharon Bill. If you can give me a like, that would be super. And please do subscribe to my channel to stay updated. You can support this channel by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash Sharon Bill. Continuing on in the Grade 3 Discovering Music Theory Workbook, we move on now to page 26 and we continue with the topic of major scales, looking at the new keys of A flat major and E major. And my suggestion to you would be to just spend a little bit of time and revise the key signatures from the previous page and then you can use this exercise as an opportunity to just test your knowledge rather than just by copying it over. So do have a go. And now I'm hoping you've had a crack at these and let's check through these together. And so exercise one asks us to add accidentals to make these pitches correct. In a scale, we can either have a key signature that just kind of does the job all in one go, or if we're asked to add accidentals, we have to apply this key signature as accidentals to any of the re relevant notes. And so we need to know that A flat major would have a key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats, and D flats. And now we need to add these as accidentals. So do remember that we're in the treble clef here. And then what we need to do is add the accidentals as the key signature would have dictated. And so if you're comfortable in the treble clef, you can just go ahead and do that. However, depending upon which instrument you play, you may not be comfortable in the treble clef. So you could always think, well, I know this begins on A. Of course, it will be A flat, but we will deal with that when we get to it. A, B, C, D, E, F. G, A. And so we know that we need a B flat. Now, although we say B flat, we have to write in music flat B because, of course, we need to know it's a flat before we play the note. It's no good putting it after the note. So although we would say B flat, we actually write in music flat B. So we need a B flat. We need an E flat, being careful to place them as you would the note head. That's actually a little bit low, isn't it? Shall I just tell myself what to do there? Let's just notch that up a little bit. There we go. So B flats, E flats. Now A flats, we need to write that twice. It feels like we're writing five flats, but we're not. The A flat just occurs twice on the tonic at the beginning and the end. And then of course we need a D flat as well. Now I notice here, that we are reminded that the semitones one, two, three to four, seven to eight are always semitones, and that's what makes the scale the major scale. We have tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, and so you could work out the accidentals by just thinking, I need a tone here from A flat. So A flat to B flat is a tone, and then B flat to C is a tone. And then we know that three to four is a semitone, so C to D flat is a semitone. And you can work it out just working tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. However, that is really laborious and quite hard work, and it's inclined to go wrong if you're not careful. Whereas if you've memorized your key signature, you can just then quickly add the accidentals as required. And so let's now press on to the second part of this exercise. And so we're asked to make this correct as the scale of E major. Now we are descending. So do remember that as we are moving up the scale, one, so that's E, F, G, a, B, C, D, E. 
And so if you're not sure what clef, if you're not happy in this clef with these notes, don't forget you've got to work upwards. Don't go E, F, G, A, B, because actually that's going backwards, isn't it? Now you need to bear in mind that E major has a key signature of F, C, G, D sharps. And so now we need to apply that key signature rather than giving it a key signature at the beginning, we need to add these as accidental. So we need an F sharp, a C sharp, a G sharp and a D sharp. And that will make that scale correct. And therefore all of the tones and semitones will naturally sort themselves out. So we get another opportunity to try A flat major. This time we're in the bass clef and we are descending, we're going down. And so if you're happy with this clef, you can just go ahead and apply the key signature as accidentals. Or if you're not sure, remember we're counting upwards, we're kind of going backwards to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, because the scale's descending, so A, G, F, E. It's just easier going upwards rather than backwards. Now the key signature we've already discussed is B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats. And so we now go ahead and add those as accidentals. So the B needs a flat before it, E. The A flat occurs twice because it's the tonic at the beginning and the end of the scale. And then we need the D flat. And then finally we get an opportunity to write this scale of E major. Now this is really low in the treble clef register and so that's quite hard to read so you may want to just write the note names E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E because of course E major must begin on E and so now we're in more familiar territory here but here it's still quite tricky so by all means do sketch that out if it helps you. We know that E major has a key signature of F, C, G, D sharps and so we just add those as accidentals as required. So we want an F, uh, F, C, G, D sharps. And that makes E major ascending scale correct. And now we have the opportunity to answer these questions and we need to say whether these statements are true or false based upon what we've learned of these new major scales. So is it true or is it false that the third degree of the scale is e, uh, of E major is G? Well we know that 1, 2, 3, E, F, G, that seems correct however we know that E major has a key signature of F sharps, C, G sharps, D sharps. So G is not correct. It would need to be G sharp, wouldn't it? Otherwise it's not E major. And so in fact, that's false. Is it true or false that D flat is the fourth degree of the scale of A flat major? So let's think about this. One, two, three, four, A, B, C, D. Now, of course, it's A flat major, and so we know that A flat major should have a key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats. And so, of course, we need an A flat, we need a B flat, and we need a D flat. So there we can see that the fourth degree of the scale is, in fact, D flat, and so that's true. Now, is it true or false that there are four flats in the key signature of E major? Well, that's false because E major has a key signature of sharps. It's got four sharps, F, C, G, D, sharps, not flats. So that's a little bit of a tricky red herring question there just to throw you a little. I hope this is helpful to your studies. Please do like and subscribe to stay updated. If you'd like to support this channel, you can buy me a coffee and for advert free lessons, you can become a patron. Do visit my website where you'll find many resources available to help you. Visit SharonBill.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.